The CEO of June Corporation, which is your boss, sitting on his chair while seriously looking at you while you are busy on the computer doing your work. He looks at you as if he was thinking deeply. You don't notice him since Jungkook's room is different from you, but he can see you from inside of his office because the wall of his room is one-way mirror. Later on, he took the phone and dialed the number. Yes, sir, you said. Miss YN, can you make me coffee? You answer. Right away, sir. As he saw you, he stood up from your seat and went to the kitchen. After a minute, you have the copy of your hand as you knock on the door and enter your boss's office. Here's your coffee, sir. As you place the mug on his desk. Thank you, he replied. Do you need anything, sir? No, thank you. Then I'll go back to my desk, sir. You bow and walk back a few steps before finally turning your back on him and start walking to the door. But before you open the door, wait, Miss YM. He said and stood up. He turned around as you saw him coming while removing the coat that he was wearing. He stood in front of you, and all of the sudden, Jungkook wrapped his coat to your waist and that made you stand while your heart fluttered. Your skirt has a sting. Wait me here. I just get something. He said and got out of his office. Your mind was blank, but after your senses come back, you realize that your skirt was stained with blood since you have a period. You face found yourself because you feel embarrassed. Gosh, this is insane. Even though you have been working with your boss for a long time, you are still ashamed in front of him. It is his nature to be caring and sweet to you. Even once he never scolded you. When you did something wrong, Junko kindly talked to you. And that is the reason why did you have secret feelings for him. Even once, you never misunderstand his kindness. You know, he is only doing that because you are his employer. Maybe he just wants to take care of you and maintain the good relationship of his employee. After some time, the door opened and you saw Jungkook with a paper bag and handed it to you. Get changed now. All you needed is already in the bag, he said and held your shoulder as he pushed you going to the bathroom in his office. Sir, I just get dressed in the employee's bathroom. But he did not listen to you. When you entered the bathroom, you immediately opened the paper bag and saw a skirt, underwear, and sanitary pads. Even if you were embarrassed, you used what he gave you instead of wearing the stained skirt. You were in the bathroom for around 10 minutes. But you didn't come out because you didn't know how to face him. Until... Miss YN, come out now. You shouldn't be embarrassed of what happened, he said. Why this guy is so nice? As you came out. Sir, I'm sorry. He looked at you and said, Why are you saying sorry? Then, thank you. That's better. Sir, about the things that you bought, I will just pay for it. Don't dare to do that, YN. 
Oh, okay. Then I leave now. Thank you, sir. As you run going to the door. But. Oops, where is my coat? He asked. Ah, uh, sir, I will wash it first before returning to you. Okay. Jungkook entered his office as he saw the paper bag on his desk. When he checked it, he found out that it was his coat. He took it to Han until he noticed a bento box under. He took it out and opened. He just smiled after he saw the attached message that he wrote. To my favorite boss, thank you so much sir. Promise I will work hard. Enjoy the food, YM. Even though he was full since he finished eating breakfast, he still ate the food that you prepare because he knows you woke up early just to make that. He enjoying the food while smiling like crazy. Weekend. Naya and you are watching movies in the living room. When you notice that your phone wasn't there, you look for it until you realize that you forgot it in your room. You went to your room, and when you check your phone, you see that Junko has eight missed calls and two messages. I'm here in the park near at your house. Can you come here? I need someone to talk. And the other message is, please don't ignore me. You start worrying after you see the time. It's already 30 minutes have passed since he sent the message. It's very cold outside since it's winter. You quickly took your thick coat and put it on when you thought of bringing another one just in case. You hurriedly went downstairs and left the house. Yeah, where are you going at this hour? Mia asked, but you didn't hear her because you were in hurry. When you arrive at the park, you look around, but there is no one until you hear a sound from the swing as you see a guy sitting on it. His back is facing at you while he's looking down. Since you have been working with Junko for a long time, you already know him very well. You also know when he is happy, angry, and has a problem. This time, based on his posture, it looks like he has a problem. You came closer and put the extra coat that you brought on his shoulder. I'm sorry sir, I just read your message just now. I thought you wouldn't come, he said. You sit next to his swing and ask, Is there a problem, sir? YM, if you were in my situation, what would you do? Your parents arrange you to someone, but you don't like him because you already like someone else. You suddenly stare at him when he said that. And that's when you realize that the person you secretly like was already in love with someone else. You feel mixed emotions. You are sad and happy. But the joy you feel dominates. You're happy because he already finds his happiness. If you ask me, sir, I will fight for my right and the man I love. It's nice to live and grow old with the one you love, of course. It's not too late, sir. Talk to your parents. Tell your feelings so they know your signs. Maybe they just think you're okay since you don't say anything. He chuckles and stood up. He went behind you and started pushing the swing. I'm glad I came here 
Even though I endured the extreme cold for almost 30 minutes, it was worth it. Sir, next time, just come to my house if you have something to say because I'm also worried about you. He stopped the swing. He came in front of you and bent a little while holding both sides of the swing as he brought his face closer to your face and stared at your eyes. Why are you worried about me? He asked. You just bite your lips because you're afraid to tell him that you like him. You'd rather choose to hide your feelings than affect your good relationship. Uh, of course, you are my boss. My favorite boss. After hearing your answer, Jungkook smiled and stood straight as he tapped your hand. Let's go, I'll send you home. He said and held your hand and pulled you going to his car. Monday. You are busy at work after a girl you didn't know came. She came with angry face and was about to go to Jungkook's office. Good thing you stopped her quickly. Mom, what can I do for you? You asked. I'm here to talk to Jungkook. Do you have an appointment with him, ma'am? I'm his fiancé, so I don't need an appointment just to talk to him. Just go. Tell him I'm here. Faster. Well, ma'am, I'm his secretary and Sir Jun told me that if you don't have an appointment, you can't talk to him, even if you are his fiancé. This is office, ma'am, not a house. Bridget suddenly raised her voice and pointed at you. Who are you to say that to me? You are just a secretary, a lowly person. He was about to answer, but someone shouted. And who the hell are you to insult my secretary? Jungkook heard something as if someone was talking outside, so he checked it. When he saw his fiancée insulting you. It's her fault because she stopped me to talk to you. She just did her job. Besides, we have nothing to talk about. Jungkook stands beside you. He pulled you and hide behind him. We have a lot to talk about. First, why did you back out of the wedding? Jungkook, I'm your fiancé. What fiancé? Wake up, girl. First, you are not my fiancé. Our parents arranged us without my permission. Second, I don't like you. Third, I already talked to my parents. I am told them my reason why I don't want to marry you. Because I already love someone else and they support me. And third, this girl behind me, don't try to insult her again or else you can taste my anger. I care her so much and you just insult her? How dare you? Why do you care for her so much? Ah, fourth, this girl is the woman I love. See, I'm the girl he loves. Proudly say, but when you realize what he said, you just pause and say, What? Jungkook faced you and held your shoulder. Yes. You are the woman I love. You couldn't move your body in shock. You became emotional last night after you found out that the man you like has already liked someone else. But it turned out to be you. Amazing! Bridget 
just left without saying anything after she got humiliated. Miss YM, do you have something to say to me? As she laughed and said, You are good at acting, Sir June. Imagine, you made your witch fiancé believe that I'm really the girl you love. You don't believe me? N no. Alright, then I will make you believe. Then, all of a sudden, Junko sealed your lips with a kiss. All the butterflies in your stomach flew away from the excitement that you feel. And now, the realization hit you that your boss really likes you. Jungkook broke the kiss and asked, Do you believe me now that I love you? You nod and say, Would you believe me if I will tell you that I also love you too? Can you prove that? Of course, you said as you hugged him. Jungkook giggles because he expects that you will kiss him too. Let's go. Let's take a day off. Why? Where are we going? My parents want to meet the girl I love. Don't worry. They are nice. The end. Thank you for watching Cool Beast Goodbye.